Ah, good morning. It's cold here in Nebraska on this Saturday morning. So I'm going to have to be doing a lot of filming inside the cabs of vehicles as well too. Cold, cold, and windy. Today, this morning, I want to pick up a few corn stalks, stover bales. So what we need to do is start the semi-truck with the grain trailer, unhook it, put the flatbed trailer on, load the skid steer, head out to the field, load and go. Hopefully this baby starts. Oh yeah, it'll go. little bit of patience. Okay, we got the spiker stabber hooked up to the front of the Bobcat and then got it loaded on this trailer, spiker stabber. And we will head out to the field, which is, can't see it from that angle. Try it from this, there we go. You see our bales out there? Now we are on our way. All right, I'll try to show you guys here real quick how I do this. Having a tracked skid steer bobcat machine makes it amazing to go across these ridges. As you can see, there's hills or bumps in the field, so going across is difficult. Spike stabber, and I will throttle up a little bit and try to use my knee on this handle as I film. And you just go right in the middle stab the spike in the bale and then lift it up like that and then drive it to the end of the field. There's uh, we got 22 bales on that puppy and I think we can put 17 on that setup. So we will now burn rubber bomb across the field. Going with the rows is so much easier and smoother for the semi truck and the pickup truck. So we'll just drive it straight down and I will load. And that will be it for today, for this load, this field. We still have probably 30 left. If I can do 22 and 17. So one more load in this field and then we'll go back to the next field to get more bales. I think uh, my baler was up to 288 bales, just got a text message. That's quite a bit, that's more than we bailed in years past, but this will be good food, good fodder, good bedding for the cows and the calves this coming winter during calving season and spring. Um, so yeah, we will haul this out of the field, worked really pretty good today. I gotta say, uh, having a skid steer with tracks, I'll show you the bobcat you can really just bomb across these rows and ridges really pretty well so this has been a great machine I need to take it in for a full service it hasn't had a yearly in probably two or maybe three years we've been doing a lot of the maintenance by ourselves on our own but it's maybe time to take it in Ooh, maybe trade what kind of skids to your bobcat or, well, shoot, for that matter, what kind of skid steer should I get? Maybe it's time to upgrade. Any thoughts or suggestions? I see something shiny. Speaking of maintenance, well, what a beautiful evening. It's supposed to be a lot warmer tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Good Monday morning. Take a little grass out of this grass bale. And we'll see if the horses want to come over here and wish Kale a good morning. 
grass hay. Also, can I have your permission to put you on YouTube? Is it okay if I uh, use your likeness in this video? Grass hay? A little bit? You want more or better? Want better? This is good. This is good grass. This is from the ranch. There you go. Morning. Okay. Anyway. It's going to be warmer this week, like in the 50s. On Saturday, we got about 111 Stover bales baled and put over here. I'm going to start the Kenworth, warm it up. We'll run out to the field where we're hauling home from and start the uh, Bobcat skid steer. But no wind today, so it'll be a much better day to film outside. They, all, they have the pl plenty of grass over there, so they should be good to go. But it's good to see the horses every once in a while. Are you guys lonesome because the cattle are out in the stocks and not with you guys? Do you miss the uh, cows? They'll be coming home. Ow! <laughs> I didn't mean to say ow. That didn't hurt. Little, little nibbler. Yeah, we'll be bringing the cows home. at some point in the next couple weeks. We should probably go check on the turnips and radishes. I'll get you a little bit here, hold on a second. Uh, to see how much food they have left. There you go, sweetheart. Okay, start the Kenworth. Yeah, it'll be okay to let it run for a minute to warm up. So, head to the next field. You know, I'm just realizing, you guys, a lot of my audience has maybe never experienced how to drive a Bobcat T590 with tracks and a bale spear. So this may be a good day to show you how to run it. What we're gonna do is just start it right now and then when we come back when it's all warmed up i will show you how to run and operate it uh this one is like a uh, 2016 i believe so one of the first things you want to do is turn the key switch on and it'll show you to wait to start because we have glow plugs you can see that it's counting down we will turn the heater slash air conditioner off turn the heater up turn that down as soon as that counts down to zero then we are ready to start and this is your throttle right here but we will leave it on we will leave that throttle on low or turtle because we want it to warm up first. If I try to throttle up, it wouldn't. The engine will know when it's warm enough, so we will walk away from the situation. And, uh, so we just have one more load with the big semi and the fifth wheel flatbed. We'll just have one more load in this field, and then we'll head to the home pivot, the other field to get the rest of the bales. With 100 bales, I think we have 320 bales all together. So we're one third done. Hopefully we can get it done this morning because I have a meeting this afternoon. All right, now you guys get to learn how to drive a 13 speed. First thing you wanna do is release your trailer brakes, then your tractor brakes, and which is the red and yellow button down here that you guys maybe can't see. Make sure your heater is on because it's cold. And you're in low gear right here. Over, forward. And we will back up. You do have a high gear reverse, but 
but it is incredibly fast and I only use that when I'm stuck in mud or I'm going to get stuck in mud. It's um, bailed me out, or in snow. It's bailed me out a time or two. For sure. I do not want to back the trailer onto mom's grass and ruin it, even though it should be dormant in the winter season. All right, go into first gear. And I've got two levers here. Got this blue lever on this side, which high-low range in between each gear. And this is the main high-low into um, for high and low. One, two, three, four, five, high, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen speed, if that makes sense. And then uh, you know, to get it up to high, this blue rocker has to be switched back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, well, five high, and high gear, six, seat belt, and you fly through the rest here, six, seven, and notice I'm not clutching. It is Tuesday, 
couple things. Actually, I should probably do a bio, an introduction to me video, so I don't have to explain to you guys or the new people each time I start a video. It's Tuesday. We're still hauling bales. Yes, we have a ton of bales. But yesterday I could only go half day because I had tax planning, tax season. Yay. Oh, it is not my favorite, but it's something that needs to be done. Uh, you know, two guarantees in life, death and taxes. I guess I'd rather do taxes than the alternative, but it takes a lot of time, mental energy, Ugh. A lot of planning, especially for small business owner, especially for a farmer. Anyway, I don't think I got to teach you guys or show you how to run the bomb, bob, Bobcat skid steer. So why don't we do that right now before I get too busy hauling up? We don't have a whole lot left to haul, so we should be able to wrap it up. I'm very excited to show you guys the pile. Stay tuned. You're going to want to see how giant this pile is. 12-year-old kale would have loved a playground like this. Shoot, even 40 something kale loves to play on it. I'll take you up there in a little bit. How do you run a skid steer? All right, I believe, okay, now I'm remembering. We already did run through this process. Essentially, you have this bar that comes down and holds you into, into place. Fasten seat belt. What you're gonna want to do is press that green button there, just like that. It comes on, and that will unlock your controls. This is a window you can slide open and talk to your counterparts. All right, we will throttle up these two levers right here. I gotta film, I'll use my knee is how you go forward and backwards. And if you want to turn, this lever goes forward, this one goes backwards. Then you have these foot pedals. So this foot, when I, when I go heel down, it raises. Toes forward lowers the bucket. So that's up and down. And then on the right side, heel down, is bucket rollback. Just like that. So I am using my feet and my hands and my trigger finger for the horn. A very important button. Uh, some of these other buttons are auxiliaries if we're running hydraulic attachments, which we are not right now. This is a two-speed, which this skid steer is not, but if I wanted to go faster, I would click that up. But this one, this particular size, make, and model does not have that option. Maybe on my next one, I get two speeds so we can bomb across where we're going. Get to where we're going faster. Okay, here we are, finally. Kale gets to film the outro. I get so busy during the day, there's a lot going on. But I want to quickly get back here and show you the finished Stover Bale pile. I think we ended up with about 320 is gonna be the final count. Each one of these corn stalk bales weighs 1,000. 80 pounds, so they're just a half a ton each bale. 320, there's, they're stacked three high, and I've got so a row of six, five, and then I'm standing on top of four. You can see our pretty ponies over there. Hi horses, how you doing? We are, I don't know, 20 feet off the ground, I suppose, so kind of a drop off, you want to be careful, but a ton of fun to play on as a kid or a child or a adult child uh, running around and jumping on these are a lot of fun. We'll have the nieces and nephews out here probably to play around when they come out and visit the farm. 
anyway thanks for joining along it's gonna be a lot more difficult to produce farming videos because I'm moving indoors not doing as much farming I'm not farming daily but I've got a great idea so I'm not gonna switch channels I just might go a different direction with my content let me know what you guys think I believe for this next video well stay tuned I'll I'll tag a picture at the end here kind of a teaser for night my next video so everybody that's watched this far along <laughs> the last three days uh, you'll get best special bonus footage for sticking along I do have a couple harvest videos even though we're done with harvest I still have a couple other videos I might just dump out there for you guys you guys seem to really like that content so I might do that otherwise be good get plenty of sleep drink plenty of water and enjoy your life see you in the next one horses have anything to say good night <laughs>